Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a post-workout summer hygiene routine slash like post-workout relaxing routine. So I figured I would bring this to you guys because I have honestly been working out so much more lately. I've been weightlifting consistently now for about four months. July makes it four months and I've been using Sydney Cummings here on YouTube, her tutorials, and I'm loving it. So I do like uh, four to five workouts a week, strength training. She does a few like hit cardio workouts too, but honestly she makes it so much fun and this has been like my summer routine after work. So I get off at four and then I'll usually hop on a video around like 4.30 or five. And they're usually like either 30 minutes, 40 or 50 minutes. So I'll do a workout routine until like six o'clock, shower and then make dinner. And that's been like my routine basically all summer. So I wanted to update my like updated hygiene routine because it's changed a little bit. So, okay, sorry, I had to move y'all because I felt like we had some weird shadows going on. But anyways, first thing that I usually do right after I work out is I will have either a protein shake or a liquid IV. Today I am doing a liquid IV. That is gonna be the passion fruit one. I love liquid IV. I talked about this earlier whenever we went to the beach uh, in the early June. But basically, it's just like a hydration supplement, and it's really good if you sweat a lot during your workouts. I do have a affiliate code called Hi It's Vicky, and I'll attach the link down below in the description box. I do make commission off of it, but you also get 25% off when you order online. So if you already use this stuff, which I already did before I used to get it at HEB, now I get it online. But yeah, if you already order this stuff, you can definitely get it online. But yeah, let me go ahead and make my drink and then we will head upstairs to shower. Okay, so let's go over some products that I will be using today in the shower. First being Sunshine Mimosa in the Moisturizing Body Wash. This one, I have my project use it up, so I'm trying to use it, but also a great summer scent. Um, let me know down below if you have some recommendations for like body soap bars, bar soaps, because I feel like I should be using that before like something like this or like a regular um, Bath & Body Works body wash. I feel like I should use something like a bar soap first. So let me know your recommendations down below. I sometimes have sensitive skin, so maybe ones that you recommend for that. Let me know. But yeah, we're using this first. And then I, it is shave day today and it is hair wash day, which is why I have my hair in a braid. Isn't it adorable though? I did a little ponytail. So cute. Anyways, um, so we are gonna scrub. Now I'm gonna be using the Dove Exfoliating Body Polish in Crushed Almond and Mango Butter. I feel like these two go really well together. So I just wanted to use them together and this scent it is to die for, it smells so good. Really good summertime scent. And of course to shave, I'm gonna be using the EOS uh, Shave Cream in Vanilla Bliss. Love this, I don't think it smells like vanilla, it's just like regular shaving cream, but I do really like it. And then my trusty Flamingo brand um, razor, which is kind of old and looking a little gunky, but I swear I've been replacing the head as often as I need to, but yeah. I swear by this thing, I got it at Target. And then to go in with some moisturizers after my shower, I'm using Margarita Cupcake. I'm so close to finish finishing this, you guys. I'm like literally all the way down here. It's probably gonna like spurt out tonight whenever I use it, but yeah, so close to finishing this up, but I've been loving this. Mm, it is so yummy and like perfect for the weather that we're in. It's 99 right now outside and it's 5.30, so. Yeah, that's a little insane. But yeah, that's everything that I'm gonna be using in the shower. So I'm gonna turn you guys around and get the shower started because I've got a lot ahead of me, a lot of work to do in there. So let's get going. Okay, and I know this isn't a vlog, but I did get some gadgets because I've been trying to do more TikToks recently. 
and I got this little sticker thing that goes on your mirror in your bathroom and that's what I was filming that on just now. Wasn't that so cool? I, I've been loving it. So yeah, totally recommend. Even if you like to like watch YouTube videos while you get ready in the morning, get you one of these because you can just stick your phone. Look, I stuck you there, but I can't really tell what it looks like, but you can stick your phone right there and watch all your videos or vlog if you're a vlogger. So yeah. today which I don't usually do but I've been doing this one once a week sometimes twice a week depending on how bad my skin is and that's the Aztec secret Indian healing clay it's a bentonite clay and then you mix it with apple cider vinegar and you make it into a mask I've actually been alternating between the Mario Badescu silver powder and this so I'll do this the day before I do this and then combine them and it's been working really great for me okay now that I've got this like paste going. I basically just mixed the clay mask with some apple cider vinegar to make it into like a little paste. I'm going to put it on my skin and I leave this on for about 15 minutes. mask dries I'm gonna put my products into my hair that I put in every time that I wash my hair also yeah how cute are these PJs like what I found them at uh, Marshall's last month during pride month so it's like pride doggies it's so freaking cute sorry I can't really like move my face that much now that the mask has dried a little bit but yeah, I'm going to take out the Turby Twist from my hair and show you guys what I use. So I use a little combination of a few things. The first one is the Living Proof Scalp Care Dry Scalp Treatment. This is great for my dandruff girlies. I just put it right on the parts where I usually get some dandruff and that's like behind my ears and the crown of my head and the nape of my neck. And then I just like massage it in so good this honestly changed my life my hair and my scalp is no longer itchy anymore and it's amazing so that's step number one step number two is the JVN air dry cream I still the, the jury's out on this I still don't know what I think of it um not sure yet if I recommend it but I do use like a little bit and I just put it on my hair I honestly haven't worn my hair natural in a very long time. I usually blow dry it uh, or do a blowout on it. So I think it does make my hair a little less frizzy though, but nothing like monumental that I've noticed yet, but I've only had it for like about a month and I only wash my hair like once or twice a week, uh, twice a week. So, okay. And then I'm going to go in with this hair oil from Garnier. It's honestly probably not good for your hair, but I, I have this from like high school that I've been trying to finish since high school. So 
I just put it mostly in the bottom. And then my favorite product, which I definitely noticed a change in my hair, is the Olaplex number no. 6 Bond Smoother. This stuff is amazing. It honestly has made my hair so soft. So totally recommend that. Olaplex is definitely worth the hype. And then we're gonna give it a little brush through. And I'm gonna put it up in a clip just for now while the mask is still on my face, but I'll leave it down to air dry for the rest of the night. Perfect. So cute. <laughs> that is everything for what turned into my nightly routine not really my hygiene routine but anyways that's everything for today's video i hope you guys enjoyed the little like relaxing shower and doing our hair and putting on our little dog pjs and yeah so that's everything for today's video i hope you guys enjoyed if you did like comment and subscribe down below and i will see you all in my next video bye